Good morning, everyone. Shall we begin with a word of prayer? Mm-hmm. Dear Father in heaven, I want to thank you for another day that you brought us together to learn more about you and to study uh, symbols. And I pray that you'd be with us today, that you would uh, give us understanding and discernment and Please uh, help me remember the things that are needed, and I ask that you would be with each person here. Thank you for answering our prayer. In Jesus' name, amen. I think I need to share still, so I'm going to share the screen. Hopefully everyone is able to see. Okay, so I just wanted to make a few notes here at the beginning um, just to to let people know that there was another presentation that I gave on March 28 of 2021. Uh, I will try to include a link if this is being viewed online. Um, Also, I'm going to potentially make some references back to the previous presentation and if you're looking at notes if you have the camp meeting notes uh, there are references to all of the slides in there Um, if you're looking at this presentation online you'll probably see a link to um, the notes on Google Drive Um, you can get to them also through the Palmone website, if you just go to the charts and then you click on my name. Okay, so that said, uh, what you see here is the fifth slide um, from the previous presentation. So I'm just, for reference purposes, uh, showing you this. Um, And the main highlight is this date, May 6th. So I'm going to continue to the eighth slide. Now, this, there were, there were several slides that were not covered in March 28th because we ran out of time. So slide eight, this is uh, something I understood or found as a result of uh, the attack in the Capitol with Noah Green on April 2. Uh, Somebody had mentioned it, I think, in the WhatsApp chat. Um, So when I started looking at it, I was able to see there's a structure surrounding it, which pointed to August 6, because... um, that you know the subject the primary subject of all all the things i had started to see back then um and when i say back then i guess i should say that was starting um january 9th of 2021 um so the subject of it was pretty much 86 or august 6 at the time so I, I saw these periods of 86 days and 126, 252. Um, and it also connected to the July 4th to um, January 6th date that we had because of what happened in, in uh, Washington. Just another event in Washington, the siege, um, when they went into the Capitol building. In so the July 4th date, that's the uh, end of the 100 days of prayer. Yes, exactly. And so then the 187 days to the siege, that begins 10 days of prayer for the Adventist church. So we had recognized that structure. Thank you. 
Okay. If there's uh, no other questions on or comments on this, I'm going to go to the next slide. Uh, this was sh this is showing a week of Christ date. Um, so a week of Christ date is uh, that's the structure that Theodore had found with the week of Christ, where th the years go f forward in time, and I think um, the actual seven years covenant week of Christ is just day f day for year going backwards in time. So if you take the year that corresponds, I mean, yeah, if, if you if you go to a year, it will correspond with a specific, specific date. And in the year 2021, that date would be April 23 because um, it would be the 10th day of the f first month, I believe, right? That, I think that's right. Um, so that turned out to be April 23. And so uh, I was looking at this structure. I s saw periods, a lot of periods of either 26 days or two months, six days, which is another form of 86 days. Um, and I could see also, um, remember that date I just referenced a few minutes ago with uh, January 9th leading to uh, April 23rd. It, that was 104 days, but it also is four times 26. And you could see that same structure um, that would point to uh, August 6th going the other direction is it, it would be, you could either count it as 104 or 105 days, depending on how you count that. And then looking here at this bottom part, you can see there's a period of, from the, from the beginning of the year, uh, there's a period of 86 days to, I believe this must be, I'm not sure why I put this here, but this is the, the, the date that the, the pr presentation was given. So I may have actually, uh, it's possible that this was done after the presentation. I'm not, I might have to go back and check if I can, but um, I'm just surprised to see that date there is all. And then on this other 26 day period, uh, we have these symbols here like 9-11. I think I put this here because it's kind of a symbol for Theodore's birthday. And then you have the Day of Atonement there. And then 86 days to these other symbolic dates like um, August 13 of 2021. Uh, at just a, if somebody could put into the chat, if you can see my mouse or like when, when I'm pointing at something, is it working or not showing up? Okay, thank you for that. It's probably because I'm on the wrong screen. <laughs> okay. So any, if there's any questions or anything, I'm gonna, no questions, I'll go to the next one. So on April 16 of 2021, I had started to notice, or I noticed really there was this thing called the Julian Day inside the calendar converter because I, you know, I was still pretty new to to using it. I didn't wasn't sure what that was. Um, so I started looking at some dates with it, and I I noticed that there were a lot of corresponding symbols essentially because when I would look at um, I type in a symbol and then I started looking at what other dates appeared to be associated and it looked like there were many instances of you know the other symbols that you could find on a, a symbolic date if you're using these Julian day numbers um, and I just want to point out 
you know, the, the prefix of the Julian day would be 2459. And then the numbers that you see here are, you know, this XXX. So that'd be 117 in this case. Just an explanation about the Julian day number. So they chose a point from which to count. This is for astronomy to count astronomical events. And so they chose a uh, some conjunctions of different events uh, back in the past. And I can't remember the exact year where, you, where the counting starts. Um, but that's what they're doing is just counting the days. And in a Julian day number, normally they have a point five at the end because they count the day in astronomy at noon, not at midnight. And the convenience there, of course, is uh, if you're recording an astronomical event in the night, you want to keep the same date. So if you look at a at the calendar converter and you're looking at the start of a day at midnight, the Julian day number will be 0.5 at the end. So it's just half day. And so those those numbers, it, it's pretty interesting what what, what you found here, uh, the symbols. Thank, thank you. Um, yeah, so one of the notable ones is the 666 and the 327. I thought that one stood out. Um, and th this also appeared to relate to the, you know, date of discovery, would be, which would be, I think, yeah, this is, this is the April 16 Gregorian date um, when I actually started looking at this. So it's 321. Um, but yeah, you could go through this slide in your own time, unless there's any questions. So, um, Heidi's wondering about the P. You have the letter P there, like for instance, where it says 630. You got, we know that the second month, sixth day, uh, Julian, uh, the 11th month, 17th day, biblical. And then you have 187. P in brackets. What's that refer to? Okay, great question. Um, so it, on this 11, 17, it's open parentheses, so it's just it's saying that this relates back to this 11, 17. If you take the product, so I, I use P for product usually. Um, and on, on the, the case down here where we have... Um, 16th day of the second of the month, I just put 6 times 6 times 6, so I guess that's another. Well, it's, this is more like the product, right? The 216 is what you're considering here. And then if I say 6 times 6 times 6, it equals 216. So it's kind of not, it's like the reverse, taking the reverse operation. Okay question. Um, so with this, these Julian day numbers, we got the last three digits. So these are just, all of this is occurring in uh, what year? Like, where's the year part? You got the months. It's going to be roughly uh, two and a half years because we're talking about three digits. So it'd be yeah. a period of about a thousand days, roughly. Yeah, so the it would start. I mean, we you have it starting here at eleven seven of that Julian day number. So there were other numbers. You just didn't find any relevance, like yeah. Actually, the next slide deals with. I know it's probably not the best order, but I, that's kind of how I looked at it. I looked at the two digit numbers after I looked at the three digit numbers. So we'll see that on the next slide. So yeah, that kind of goes to the end here, this this 920. But yeah, the next slide. Um, yeah, I even have day zero here, so that's kind of related to the Sunday Law because I think Theodore had recently done a presentation on March 7th for the Sunday Law. So yeah, that'd be day zero. And these other smaller numbers, like 46, um, 
gave us that symbol again for the for the um, week of Christ date, except it's not actually because this is biblical. Forty nine, kind of relating to the July eighteen symbol, and we see we had the Beirut explosion on day sixty six. Um, Yeah, the midnight cry on seventy seven. So these are these are all pretty interesting coincidences of symbols. Okay. Not not long after uh, after the death of my father, I guess I hadn't noted I hadn't mentioned that really to most people that but he, my father did um pass away on April you actually have it here April 29th um so at that time I or not long after that time I mentioned to Theodore that somehow I could see there was a relationship between the the death of my father and so many of the symbols that I had been seeing uh, one of the thing one one of the things that was clear was nothing's random about the course of events. Some things that maybe not everyone knew at the time was my father had a stroke about a month before on February twenty six. So that's here as well. If you take that date symbolically as two months and. 26 days, it would be another form of 86. So we kind of covered that on a previous slide as well. Sadly, my father did pass away on the 33rd day. Um, okay, so the 33rd day is measured from the presentation of... Uh, you know, these symbols that I had presented. So again, you'd probably want to refer back to that previous March 28 presentation to understand that more. But So yeah, that led to April 29, which is a, du a Julian day ending in 333. I had made a lot of observations, but I uh, wasn't really prepared to share anything about them at the time. Although I did discuss some of these things with Theodore. The date April 29 coincided with the day of first fruits on the biblical calendar that year. And it was 118, 100, so this is the 118 days from the start of the year. And it also happened to be 8.11 on the Mayan calendar at the time. So that's where you see this 8.11. And my dad's birthday was August 11th as well. So that's almost like three different coincidences of August 11th or some form of it. It says witnesses, not coincidences. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, a coincidence can be... A witness, a witness that there is something that is trying to get your attention, yeah. I guess. So, so how do you take, you know, the death of your father as far as your personal connection to the message? What does that mean to you? I mean, it, it seems to relate to, you know, where we came from, um, the history before us, essentially. But it also would be the God's witnessing to you regarding this chronology that you begin working on. Yeah, you're that's making possible. these calendar converters and and the and and starting to work with these dates. So God's just confirming to you the usefulness of of these analytical tools. Yeah, yeah that sounds reasonable. I, I know for me, when my dad passed away, it was on. Uh, the eleventh day of the ninth month on the biblical calendar, and then his burial on the Islamic calendar was the twenty-sixth day of the fourth month. And so, at that time in two thousand eighteen, and 
early 2019, um, I was just beginning to understand some of these symbols and, and using them. So for me, it was a witness to me that God cares about us and the things that we go through. Yeah, I definitely would agree with that because I, I do remember back at the time, I was pretty sure, you know, it was, you know, God was recognizing what I was going through at the time. Um, so continuing here, uh, on the rabbinic calendar, this is again in reference to April 29th. It was that symbol 217. And the two, 217, again, it relates to August 6th because it's the 217th day of the year. Or, you know, it could be the symbol for Raphia as well. And I also noticed it was 538 days since November 9, 2019. Noting that the year 538 AD begins the 1260 years and Isaiah 53 8 is 18,720 20th verse in the Bible but again it, you know you have this 126 here um, I was thinking there was another 126 but it's just, it's, I guess it's just related in here but not directly to that date of the declaration on December 6th that's connected with 151 days. Yes, it's both uh, 126 from the start of the year and it's also, oh wait, that's going to, to this, um, I guess May 6th date is that 126, but yeah, 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 you have uh, 151 to the declaration. And then, the, um, yeah, we'll come to these other ones here in a second. Um, so another way uh, to describe this, if you're doing, I believe this would be a, a cardinal count, you could call the, the, ninth, or the 119th day, so it'd be like 11-9, essentially, um, which is some ordinal. Okay, thank you. Uh, so yeah, you'd have a symbol for November 9th, essentially, which is similar to the start of the hundred. I mean, the um, seven hundred and seventy-seven days. And if you take the total number of days that he lived, uh, it was. It's actually right here at the top. Um, 25,200 plus uh, 2,090. So if you just drop those zeros, you have, you know, you have a symbol for 252, which can also relate to July 18, and you have 209, which essentially relates to the Sunday Law in this case. But I believe we, I believe we associate August 11th with 9/11, uh, right? If I'm remembering correctly. Yeah, so, um, yeah, so August 11th, 1840 relates to 9-11 as the empowerment of the first angel. And, but of course, 9-11 also refers to the arrival of the second. But originally, we didn't have that. Once we had recognized 9-11, it was just the empowerment of the first angel. So that connects 9-11 to August 11th. Okay. Uh, the circumstances dictated that we needed to bury my father on May 6th, which, which was a date I had presented on the fifth slide. So again, it's going back to the, what I showed you at the very beginning, that date in the chart. It was a period of uh, uh, 151 
from the yeah we talked about that from the declaration and it was seven days after his death and 70 days so this is the 70 days from from his stroke i guess it'd be 63 days it's not on this chart but it'd be 63 here to his death Um, but then I also found that it was 777 days from the spring equinox. Over here, that's what this S equinox means. And I noticed also that this date on the Mayan calendar was 661, which relates to FFA. And the actual date there being March 21st. Um, and then... Going the other direction, we have 777 days to another solar event. This is the summer solstice, which would would have been on um, June 21st of just this late, just uh, not too long ago this year. Um, and then I actually this chart that you're looking at was something I put together because I was looking back again because you know his stroke was on. February 26th, so this is two years after his stroke, and I was looking at this again on that day, and I could also notice that it was 118 days to that 777 days as well uh, to the summer solstice. So, I mean, that was just another 118 witness. Trying to see if I forgot anything here. Oh yeah, so so this is just again from the previous previous uh, chart on slide five, but you have sixty sixty five days to this other day of atonement reference here in twenty twenty one. I mean, it's not really the day of atonement; it's just a symbol for it. Um, just to comment on these two periods of 777 days. So we know, and we often think, I mean, a half a year. So if we, we think about how long is it from the spring equinox to the fall equinox, we're normally going to think, well, it must be half a year exactly. But we know from the spring to the autumnal equinox is 187 days. And then from the fall equinox to the spring is um, 178 days, right? Both having the same digits. And you, you can see if you add 187 uh, to 178, you get 365. Now, of course, we know there's a quarter day in there um, that you know will add up over four years to an extra day. Now, this is a period of four years and 93 days. Right, so 93, when we first counted uh, midnight, when we first found midnight and we counted from the first day of the first month uh, to the 10th day of the seventh month, we found that there was 93 days cardinal count uh, to midnight to July 21st, 1844, and then another 93 days to the 10th day of the seventh month. So uh, in that case, it happens to be, uh, you know, this time from the spring equinox to the fall. So it's just really interesting that, that we have this in this structure, um, that 777 days tying this together. Um, but it's not something we really think about because we generally don't. We have this 777 days, but it's, it's significant in its connection with the equinoxes, right? So. And, and this just illustrates that. But it also has that 93 in there, four years and, and then 93 days. And that 93 um, is that symbol that we have from the midnight cry or, or the midnight, finding midnight in Millerite history. Okay, thank you. On April 23, 
the day I indicated for the for the week I mean yeah for the week of Christ structure or the day indicated okay by that structure I should say um, I noted that the Pope was celebrating his name day I mean we didn't really see much else I don't think anyone did um, but that's the one thing that stood out to me uh, then I looked up that Theodore had a name day which was November 9th which is pretty interesting in itself um, considering Theodore had counted the 391.5 days to um, November 9th, I had later noticed the period of um, 4,109 4, 4, days between Jeff and Theodore, which was uh, when considered as a period of years and days contains all the same digits as November 9 and December 25th. So that's what you're seeing here. Because, um, yeah, you just divide this up. Um, I believe, yeah, what I used here was 365 and a quarter for that calculation. And 365 and a quarter would count any time you're not having... Uh, you're not passing a century or a, a millennium. But anyway, um, just a question. So this name date, where does this come from? How does my name happen to have a name date of November 9th? Who, who put this together? Um, I haven't done like super deep research. I just, I know that there, there is information out there on the name dates and they it's a seems like it's more of a thing in Europe that they do associating dates with names because uh, I hadn't really heard of it before European uh, just I'm not entirely sure but I okay, think we, we it's probably it European kind of interesting yeah and I, I know they they I think they do something I was what was it in in Central America maybe as well with the name dates but, but I think that would only just be be because of uh you know that influence coming from from overseas I don't know we'll have to look that look at that more um so uh, let me see where was I yes so this this points to the 777 day structure and I also noticed that the product of 11 times 7 is 77. Another way to point to the 777 days. The period of uh, 4,109 can be represented as an equation, which contains um, 252, 187, and 77. You know, which when you consider all that together, it's it's pointing back again to the 777, 777 days from um, uh, August, not August, uh, November 9, 2019 to um, December 25th, um, 2025, not 2025, 2021, sorry, I'm getting my numbers all mixed up today. <laughs> Okay, so if there's no other questions on this slide, well, oh, we we have a comment from Angela saying name days are probably from the Catholic Church um, with saints attached to them, and Theodore says all different churches. Related to baptism, okay. Okay. So on uh, October 3, I probably should have put the year in there, but I think this is 2021. Yeah, it has to be. I discovered that the, the middle two verses in the Bible were Psalms 
103 verses 1 and 2. I had also found that the Bible contains uh, 31,102 verses. I noticed that th these are the same five digits, which uh, clearly cannot be by ba accident. As the chances for this are less than one in a thousand, I actually tried to calculate what are the chances just by multiplying it out. Um, so then, um, 16 days later, I uh, was what I considered to be the next major finding. On my uh, 44th birthday, because remember this is uh, October 3, so if you add that in, that's good, go to October 19. I arrived at the idea to count the number of verses in the Bible using 217 as a symbol, and it came to um, Genesis 9:11, um, which I, if you see this chart here, it, it could relate back to my birthday once again, which is the day that I was counting it. I was just counting by hand at the time. So when I uh, saw this, I knew that counting verses had to be an important consideration in the Bible. Starting that day, I began to write a Bible program called the uh, King James Version Bible Indexer. And in my, you know, that's what we talked about yesterday, actually. At least we were talking about how it works. So by midnight, Two days later, I had posted a message so everyone could actually find the website. And that site was later moved to palmoni.org in April of 2022. And this program led to many discoveries, which I, which I will talk about more. Well... That might be an outdated note right there. If you have been following along with the morning studies, you may have heard a lot about different observations that relate to the numbers of verses in the Bible, or you know, sometimes it's the gematria that uh, that we notice. So that's I would attribute that back to the Bible indexer. I mean, in in many cases, at least. So if there are no questions on this, I will go to the next slide. On December 12, 2021, I noticed that if you have uh, three cycles of seven, as you see here, in this case, it's 0.7 times 7 plus 7 is equal to 11.9. After Stephen saw this, he also found a couple more because he was using the same pattern. Essentially, you could call it a function because you just, um, if the input in the, is the number 7, then the function would produce this 11.9. So essentially, he just probably put it into an Excel spreadsheet and uh, calculated these out because I remember seeing a, a spreadsheet. Um, so then you would get for 8, you would get 0 0.8 times 8 plus 8 is equal to 14.4. I mean, that also tells you that 144,000 is three cycles of 8 as well. Um, because, the you know, the, the number of zeros doesn't actually matter in this. And then if you have 17 times, or it's actually 0.17 times 17 plus 17, it's 19.89. Um, so you could actually, and by the way, uh, 17 is the seventh prime, so you could even relate these these 17s back to, back to the number seven. So November 9, 1989, would essentially be, it would have 
these sevens associated with it. So that'd be six. And then it's the, the beginning of 777 days. Um, because, okay, the, the event, okay, the event that happened, I think ever, most people would know, um, that, that'd be the fall of the Berlin Wall or the fall of the Iron Curtain. Um, and then 777 days later was the fall of the Soviet Union, USSR. Um, that was December 25th, um, 1991. Just throwing that background in there in case maybe you're not really thinking about that. Okay, if there's no other questions on this slide, I will continue. Okay. On May 24th, 2022, um, and May 24th, 2022, if you look at it on the calendar converter, you can see that it's um, 1022 Islamic. Julian Day would be 723, the last three digits anyway. Uh, the Mayan would be 9101. That's again the last three digits. Or the, you know, kind of like if you had the year, the month, and the day equivalent for the Mayan. Um, so on this day, I completed the addition of the Babylonian calendar into the calendar converter. May 24 of 2022. Do I, do I have a, okay. You don't see the May 24. Yeah, um, I think it's just because that's in the notes about this slide. Yeah, so it must be something we're talking about. It's not on the slide itself. Okay. Yeah, it, is, it, it, it relates to it, but I didn't actually write it on this slide. Um, but yes, uh, I was, wasn't sure if you were looking at the calendar converter there for May 24. Or maybe I had a typo or something, but OK. Um, so I put, I, 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 you know, once I had this uh, Babylonian in uh, converter, so the, you know, if you see, if you remember seeing that yesterday, you remember that you could type in the lunation numbers. So what I did was I started typing in numbers into that lunation field, um, and the first one I typed in. Uh, was 2520, um, you know, the obvious one, of course. And I noticed it was touching October 22 in the year uh, 544. So, I mean, you have October 22 of 44. Um, not 1844, but just 544 in this case. Um, so, a couple of days later, I also noticed... Um, 1629, I mean, this is not that long after Odilio's presentation, you know, because it's May, and what did he present on February or so? So that was when that 1629 number was introduced. Um, uh, but I noticed that this related to Jeff's birthday because it actually took you... I believe it was straight to his birthday. Um, and it would be in 616 BC. And that number 616 can relate to um, FFA. I guess I do have that up here in the chart. Um, oh, yeah. So I just want to go back again to the May 24th. So, Theodore, so. Probably should have put May 24 on, on this chart, but the relationship is this 723 BC and the October 22 of 1844. So that's kind of what ties back to that May 24 date. Okay, so, you know, since I had Jeff's birthday, 
I wanted to know how many years it actually was till he was born, because this is way before he was born. And it turned out to be 25, 20 plus 46 years, which is interesting because we have way marks that fit into that time frame. And the way marks, you know, we just kind of looked at them. 723 BC, fall of the Northern Kingdom to uh, 1844. Um, and, the, and the 46 years would be the period of the Millerites. So on May 7, 2023, I was speaking with my mom and she was telling me um, how my dad used to use a calendar from Thailand. So I looked up what I could find about it, and I noticed that the years are offset in a way that places my year of birth as 2520. And, uh, you know, if there's a, there's a link here if you look at the actual um, original notes here. Um, that will take you to see the information about the Thai calendar. And on July 1st, 2023, I re-examined these things in relation to other dates that relate to both Jeff and myself. And I created this diagram that we're actually looking at right here. I wanted to know what was 25, 20 years before I was born, since I was... I guess I, you know, because of the fact that that was the year of my birth, then I noticed that what it came to was the third day of a of the twenty five twentieth lunation as well. So going back to that Babylonian calendar converter, um, but I, I mean, the first time I typed in twenty five twenty, I didn't really notice that. I was just noticing the October twenty two date. Um, but the oct also notice that this October 22 date has some other attributes like on the Mayan calendar um, it was 1019 there as well so it's like this date actually points to um, this other date over here and um, there was another chart that I already had the 69 years. Um, we'll see that later, but the 69 years it is equal to 2520, or actually it's really 25,203 days is equal to 69 years. So, you know, based on all these symbols, uh, that's where I would line this up. Oops. Not sure I'm actually... So just an, another note here about this product 252 that's just taking the letters in my name. A is one, so it'd be 14, I think it's 14 and 18. Um, so yeah, I think that covers this slide. So on May 29th, 2022, I completed a request from Theodore to add Gematria, that Gematria calculator to the website. So after adding this um, feature, which didn't take very long, I also added it to the Bible indexer. And as soon as I opened up the Bible indexer, uh, I noticed that we had this reverse sum of seven seven seven. That's the that's the main thing that stood out. Also, I think Theodore was saying this number four eleven is important as well. So I um, 
definitely no accident that, uh, and I think it says that something about the King James Version for anyone who takes the time to actually think about it. We know that uh, 777 can represent the end. Here it's demonstrating the beginning, which is which would be the opposite, but a symbol can have opposite meanings depending on the context. Another observation here is the 1188, which is a structure and this uh, the, that's the combined right here, 1188, um, which we find associated in the history of the third decree. And it's also a, uh, something Theodore had noticed is a period of weeks in the week of Christ structure, if you've been following the morning studies. And you... Um, find the same number in the last verse of the Bible. So, you know, the beginning and the end, essentially. Yeah, um, so if you're going from the first verse, because uh, there's 1,189, or not, chapters, right, in the Bible, correct? So if you're going from the first chapter, you would count 1,188 chapters to the last chapter, right? So one's an ordinal. 1189 chapters correct in the bible yeah i mean you could say there's 1188 additional chapters, chapters. after this first right. genesis yes. 1 chapter so the end and the beginning there are connected of the bible the first chapter and the last chapter yeah by the sum uh okay that's the bible chapter number but it's that combined sum mm -hmm. the reverse which is April 11th, and the combined sum, and, and the reverse sum of 777. So you combine them, you get the number of chapters to the last chapter of the Bible. Right? That's what we're saying. Yeah, that's one way to look at it, I believe. Yeah. Probably a valid way of looking at that. Mm -hmm. um, and I think we even looked at this fathom yesterday as well um but i i would note that again it's the symbol for the july 18 2020 and we had that related you know the 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 word fathom it only occurs in one one place in the bible which would be x um x 27 where we have the 252 inches when you convert those fathoms into um into inches. Yeah, because they count, what is it, uh, 15 and then 10 fathoms? And one is 10. I think it's 15 and 20 fathoms. 15 and 20. And so one is um, 1440, four, and the other is 1080. Right. There, and yeah, they add them lot together, of... you get 2520. And both are measurements of time. So the 1440 is the number of minutes in a day. And the 1080 is the number of parts in the Hebrew hour. So they divide their hour into 1080 parts. And so it takes those two different divisions of time, and you get the 2520 in Acts chapter 27. Yep. Thank you. So on June 24th, 2022, pretty historical date, um, Dwight was asking the question about Roe versus Wade, um, which was in, an, it was in effect for a period of 18,050 days, which can be a symbol of the 15th day of the eighth month. Uh, the end date, you know, is a symbol of, um, 26th day of the fourth month, except it's in reverse, because it would be June 24th. And if you take the start date, January 22, uh, you can produce the end date. All you have to do is uh, um, 12 divided by 2 is equal to 6. 
And then you can take 12 times 2, and it will equal 24. So that's an interesting characteristic of this period. Um, so, yeah, it takes you to June 24th, which is a period of 40, 49 years and 153 days and 3 hours. So that, that would be a 1533, because you take those 3 hours and you can combine them with 153 days. Okay, I just noticed here, sorry, I have a question here in the chat. So what happened in 723 BC? That was the um, uh, captivity of Hoshea, the northern king, northern Israel. And another question on um, what is a reverse Bible verse? Um, so the reverse Bible verse, coming back to here, um, that's counting from the end of the Bible. So it'd be a verse count from Revelation uh, 22, verse 21. So you're just counting the number of verses back. Um, and, you know, this is Genesis 1, so it's really just going to tell you how many verses are in, in the Bible. So 31102, which we looked at on a previous slide as well. Okay. And now continuing on to, I think this is the slide we're on, 19. So... On July 2, 2022, middle of the year, I noticed that the days between Theodore and Stephen were 13 times 13 times 13. And uh, just making a note also that Theodore, um, he also found this on, um, he found it on March 6. Um, so I don't actually know if he mentioned that. He may have, and then I just forgot about it. But yeah, but you know that it was an inter it, was, it was an inter interesting observation at the time. And then a few hours later, Theodore noted that there's six times six, times six times six days between Dwight and himself. So, um, also on April 16 of uh, 2022, so a little bit earlier, I had noted that there was um, this period of 187 times 28.71 days between Theodore and myself, you know, which was interesting at the time, but it was kind of standing on its own. Also, um, at some earlier time, I think we had determined that there were six hundred or no six thousand six hundred and sixty six days between Dwight and me, and of course, all of this was interesting at the time uh, but I think there was a gap in my understanding about this period in between Stephen and myself because it was just a number that I didn't really recognize three three one seven two. Um, so on July 16 of 2023, I was able to further consider this period of, uh, six, 6,666 days as being represented with an equation. So we did talk about equations yesterday, but you know, you want it to be as simple as possible, um, in this case, you're taking 10,000 plus 80,000 plus 70,000, and then you just subtract 
1, 8, and 7. And that gives you the number of hours in this period of of days. I mean, I don't think it's... I have I, Dwight gave me his time, but I haven't actually gone back to look at it yet. Um, but symbolically, you're, it's being represented by these number of days. Um, so once once I had that, you know, once I had this equation here, it, that was a key to understanding the days we to Stephen as it uses the same set of numbers here. So because this is um, 187 times another form of, kind of like this one with Theodore, it's kind of another form of 187 because it's 1 plus 8 plus 7 in this case, or 16. So 16 times 187. And then you have these extra 180, which I broke up into 60 plus 60 plus 60. And also noting that the sum of my name was 180 as well, just taking the gematria. Um, and then I here I just noticed noted that, you know, the obvious that if you just take all of these and take them as primes, they just all, all of these are just sixes. So six is all the way across in that equation. You say the, the gematria, the sum is 180, so that would be um, your whole name? Uh, first different. and last. Yeah. Yep. Okay, first and last. That's what I figured. Because the run does not add, add up to 180. Yeah, not by itself. Um, no. No. Okay. So, yeah, I mean, these are the presenters at camp meeting, this camp meeting, Dwight, Theodore, Stephen, and myself. If that relates somehow, I don't know. Uh, let's see, what else did I have here? Uh, side note that 5 is closely related to 187 because the you have the 187 chapters in the first five books of the Bible. And in, in addition to that, you also have Methuselah and Lamech because if you uh, take Methuselah and you subtract out Lamech, you have 187 days, at, not days, um, years, at the beginning, and you have five years at the end. So that's just another representation of five and 187 being related. Um, how do you count, though? You know, some people would look at these numbers 13, 666, 666 primes. Um, so why are these numbers used? Um, you know, some people would look at them as like evil numbers, cursed numbers. So how do you account for that? Um, I, I, you know, I think all the symbols can have more than one meaning because you can have the number 151. If you take the gematria for Jesus Christ, you have 151. Um, but also, if you add a poly in and a bad in together, you get one five one as well. So, I mean, those those are completely kind of opposing symbols, are you know opposing um, mm -hmm. ideas. Yeah. Another way that the way I've tried to answer it to people who've asked the question um, is that these are numbers relating to the Sunday law, and that's the message that we're pro proclaiming is the Sunday law as well as the rebellion that exists. And, and these numbers sometimes come together, seven and six, which is symbols, seven being a symbol of Christ, his perfection, and six, the number of man, which creates the number 13. And that's a symbol of the great controversy. So these symbols are symbols that are in the scriptures talking about the, the great controversy and uh, so that's something that we are involved in. Thank you. So, oh, I think I'm actually over time. So we might just take this up tomorrow um, and uh, just finish for today. 
So uh, shall we close with prayer? Dear Father, I want to thank you for this time this morning, and uh, I pray that you would help us to consider these things, and uh, please correct us if there's anything we're in, in error, and I would ask that you be with us the rest of the day and the rest of the present presentations today, and uh, thank you for answering our prayer in Jesus' name, amen.